Mizuno 923 JPX hot metal line. One, their most recent launch only just came out a few weeks back. Uh, thought we'd do a brief review on what the tech changes are, what that actually means in terms of performance, and then as you can see behind me, we've already done a bit of data and we can run you through what the actual differences in performance are. So the JPX line is their more forgiving line. They've got the MP series for the kind of player series. Uh, JPX are a little more game improvement, a little more forgiving, designed to give you a little bit more ball speed and, and ultimately distance. Where they've gone to this year, there are a couple of main technological changes, materials that they've developed. So the chrome alloy, which is a, a, a hard, durable material that they made the faces and the frame of their head with, that is now nickel chrome alloy. So what they've done, the nickel element to it gives it a little bit more dur durability, actually about 35% more strength to it. So nickel, nickel chrome alloy is used in a lot of um, some parts like air, aircraft wheels and, and parts for durability. It's a very, very strong material. What that allows them to do is to go 8% thinner on the face. So across the hot metal line, the, J, the 923 hot metal line, they're using this new material in the face. By going thinner, it allows them to you know, get more energy back into the ball, get more ball speed. Uh, so this is really all about maximizing ball speed, maximizing height um, and stopping power. Because one of the things with the study they, they did before launching these products was they did a lot of data on how swings have changed, how delivery lines have changed. So they noticed that you know, there's, a, there's a trend towards having a little bit more shaft lean, so coming into the ball with the hands in front. So they've, in the hot metal pro and the hot metal, they have increased the bounce on the sole. So this is because the club head's coming in, rather than catching it at the bottom of the arc, there's a little more little shaft lean, a little more kind of downward strike there. So you need a little bit more bounce, a little more back edge to, to stop the front edge digging in. So one of the things they've done with the products from that. They've also identified that 50% of golfers do, that they tested struggle with launching the ball. Now this is something that we've talked about in previous videos, previous lives. We're seeing an increased uh, amount of golfers who struggle to get the ball airborne enough. So they've brought in the hot metal high launch, the HL. So not only does it have, has a little bit more loft, um, one of the things that they've done with this, they've also um, just changed, whereas in the hot metal pro, and the standard, they've added a bit of bounce. They've added a little bit of roundness and a little bit of a peak here to the sole, a little more up and, up and over. In the high launch, see it rounds off at the back. So what that allows is that back edge to work underneath, essentially to come in under, not to drag and kick it forward, but to allow it to go underneath, create a little bit more launch. So they're really looking at getting the ball airborne. The thinner face gives more ball speed, allows them to put more weight in the sole, which incre increases launch angle a little bit as well. So they're really trying to help golfers get it airborne. So there are a couple of, a couple of those elements which are definitely marking it out as a little bit different this year. Um, so in terms of performance wise, what does this mean? So um, if we go to the data screen here, um, what we can see is, I'll change it to the summary page. Uh, and this is just me hitting, so this isn't going to be exactly the same for everybody. This is my own experience hitting just now. So uh, obviously at different club speeds, you're going to get different spin levels. Um, but what we should see is the same ratios of spin head to head. So um, the bottom of these numbers in white are the pro. Um, then the yellow, the next one on the hot metal. And then the high launch, the HL at the top. So the, the pro on the hot metal are the same loft. So what we can see with those two heads is that the the launch angles here are different. So the pro is launching a little bit lower, but interesting enough from a construction point of view, and they're not, not looking to gain as much distance on the pro as possible, it has a higher spin rate. So what we're seeing from the, the structural difference is the CG in the hot metal is a little bit lower, and what that does is it increases launch angle, but as we see here, you get a little bit less spin. Now what that means is it's just longer. That's just a hotter ball flight, more efficient, more efficient trajectory. Um, but the higher spin from the pro is going to give a little bit more control coming into the greens. You're not reliant on the, uh, the ball stopping because of the softer surface. You've got, you know, best part of 10% more spin. Uh, ball speed is, is good as identical, and we see this across the board. With the high launch, because of the, the slight loft difference, so the 7-iron on the hot metal pro and the hot metal is roughly 28 and a half. It's up at 31 on the high launch. So we do see best part of a two degree over the hot metal launch angle difference. 
But what we're also seeing is another 500 revolutions of spin. Now, that's actually quite a lot. That, you're looking at over 10% of spin. For that. Now, some of that is, is going to be the loft. Inevitably, that's going to have an effect on it. Um, but to be able to get that bit of extra spin when most of the forgiving or more distance-based irons have been cranking off down and down and down over the years. To get one, we can actually rein it back and produce a little bit more spin from a frame like this. Uh, and the reason I say from a frame like this is because because of the construction of the face, the thinner face, that creates the lower spin. And that's, it gives you the distance, it gives you the forgiveness. Um, but it's something that the payoff has always we've had to just accept that the ball comes in with less spin. The fact that we've got a, got a brand that's designed ahead to give you some of that spin back, granted some of it's for the loft, that, that's actually can be quite a good thing through this year. It's something that we've been crying out for for a long time as fitters. Um, and I know other fitting, other fitting companies who do reviews and things on them as well um, have been saying the same things for a long time. So it's great to see a company listen and, and, and give us what we've, what we've asked for. Um, for me, it's also given another 10 foot in actual flight height as well. Uh, and 24 foot over the pro. So that's a quite a significant change in height, um, going to the my speed. So majority of players hitting these clubs are gonna be swinging a little bit slower. So, you, but you're still going to see a noticeable four or five yard flight height change, which is great. Um, so the takeaways from this are that what they've managed to do from a material point of view is strengthen the face, strengthen the frame, thin the face out, which means going a little bit lighter, which means putting more weight around the perimeters of the head, again, giving more forgiveness. Reshape the soles so that they're giving you a slightly enhanced bounce profile to help turf interaction, um, but then also offering that higher launch head, uh, which then means a slightly more, um, I'm not gonna say traditional loft, but not having massive, massive loft gaps at the bottom end and having to add five wedges in. Um, you know, the pitch wedge in this set, uh, is going to come in the region of 44 degrees, 45 degrees. So to be able to get it back to that with a forgiving head has been, been really quite something we're looking forward to using. Um, but across the board, what we can also see from, uh, get back to the data page, from the, the smash numbers, those efficiency values are really, for a six iron, are really quite strong. Uh, it's obviously slightly less for the, for the HL, the high launch, because of the loft change, but, but lots of efficiency, lots of ball speed there. So. Um, from a club head point of view, you are going to get a sort of slightly firmer, clickier sound because of that material in the face versus the sort of traditional Mizuno sound and feel. Um, but it's not out of sync with what the hot metals have offered in the past, the JPX line. Um, but an enhancement in that ball flight. So for anyone looking for a bit of forgiveness and looking for a bit of flight, the HL gives you that. What the Pro gives you is actually quite a forgiving head that retains a really respectable amount of spin based on the loft that's produced and a little bit less offset than they've had in the past. And then the, the, the really kind of standard hot metal uh, is, is back to that so same old kind of low CG, forgiving, fast faced, upper mid launch, lower mid spin, you know, distance machine. So I mean, to put it into context, I'm hitting that about nearly a club longer than my own Gamer 6 sound. You know, part of it's loft, but part of it is just the, the strength and the efficiency of the ball flight. So within these ranges you've got a fairly in the in the pro a fairly forgiving for a better phrase sort of better players forgiving club um albeit a, a sort of firmer sound and feel that most most people would acquaint with a players club um but then the options on ball flight from the other two and it's a, not just a loft change but a change in the design of the sole of the club again i'll show that back to camera here uh, you can see that the the back edge on the high launch has that rounded off and there's more bounce here on the sole shape, slightly narrower sole as well. So again, putting more weight down the bottom, trying to get that flight up with the HL as long as the loft change. So, um, you know, rather than just, not just a kind of renewal, not just a, a carry over in terms of what they've done before, definitely worked on updating the tech and updating the player profile that's gonna suit these clubs. So um, something we're gonna be doing a lot of doing just come out, come out a few weeks back we're learning a little bit more every time we fit with them, but certainly products that are going to do well through the course of next year.